What's going on everyone? I am Corbsy. This is your outdoorsy. So today we are currently at La Perouse. If you don't know where La Perouse is, it's near the Botany Bay side. La Perouse, named after Jean-Francois. Today we're going on a big adventure because we're going to go and look at five places today that's around here that's very exciting. So the first one we're going to go check is Hong Wong Beach. The second one we're checking is Kong Wong Little Beach, which is like the nudist beach, but I don't think I'm going to be able to show you guys any footage of that because a lot of people are nude and yeah, in terms of service, YouTube, not a good idea. The third place we are going to check will be Brown's Rock, big mission. There's a lot of up and downhill into, into the bushes we have to go. Then the fourth place will be Henry's Head. And then the very last place we're going to check will be Cape Banks. So we'll have to get into the car, go up into the mountain, go and check Cape Banks. But those are the five areas we are going to check today. Don't forget, like, comment and subscribe to the content because that helps me grow and know what you guys like. Without further ado, La Perouse, let's get this rolling. Ow! Right, oh, check it out. We're at Kamai Botany Bay National Park, as you can see. We've got five spots I want to actually take you guys to today, which is going to be the Kong Wong Beach, we're going to go hit the little Kong Wong Beach, then Browns Rock, Henry Head and Cape Banks. Now I'm not going to be able to walk all the way to Cape Banks or Henry Head, we'll have to go into the National Park. There's like a, there's like a route inside, so we're here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drive the car all the way this way and then we're going to park up here and then we're going to walk that way down to do that part. And then this part today, we're just going to go walk along maybe get to brown rocks and then have to head back because i only have four hours parking where i am so i'm not sure how long the walk there and back so like even brown rocks is an hour there and back and obviously we want to see things so we will take a bit longer than the usual hour to get there anyway that's our pathway all the way down which i don't know if you can see it yet but it's just down there That's a nice pathway. Check it out, it's Conowong Beach. There's your beach stretch. It goes from there and it stretches all the way along. Tiny little beach, it's probably about 50 to 100 meters long. You can see the track. So this is the track apparently to the nudist beach. These are my $300 shoes. I'm not going to be wearing my $300 shoes going up and down these tracks. Are you out of your mind? Look at them, it's all watery and muddy and filthy, disgusting. Yeah, no, it's not gonna happen. But that's where we're off to. Little Kong and Wong Beach. I won't be here for too long because this is the nudist beach, so I'll show you what I can. Yeah, look, way too many nudists to show you that beach, so we're going to skip that and we'll see you at the rocks. Righto, so obviously couldn't show you guys little Conowong Beach because that'll just destroy YouTube's terms of service. But this is the track that we're going to walk up. I think it's about two kilometers before we get to the next area, so if anything cool springs up, we'll check in with you then. <sighs> Things I do for you. We're up in the mountains, shoes are back on. We're gonna climb all this what's behind me to keep going up. Like I said, two kilometers to go. Conowong Beach, it's just where we came from. Henry Head. That's where we're going. All the way up here. Um, check it out, they have a boardwalk here. We're so far up, why is it here? That doesn't make sense. 
You can see all the trees that got burnt down. I think there was a big fire through here a long time ago. A lot of these trees are fire damaged. It's all fire damage. Lizards everywhere around here. We're just going to walk and then if you guys can see any move. We've gone in the bush there. Wow, they're everywhere. It's like a lizard around every single corner. It's crazy. All right, check it out. You can see how much closer we are now. We're doing the Henry Head walking track. And then I'm not sure if we'll reach that one, but we've still got 1.4 kilometers to go. We're going more trekking. Check it out. Check it out, how cool is this little walkthrough? It's like you've got all the trees and stuff above you. If it's like a big rainy day, you could make a little, little camping session up in here pretty easily. But it's a national park, so you can't do that. So there's no field days, all right? Check it out, bush region. Anyway, there you are. Brown's walking track is 600 meters that way. Henry walking track. We've still got 1.1 kilometers to go. So cleaned up 300 meters. Let's do it. Check it out. I've got some signs here. No entry bush regen area. Right? Please help to restore the site by remaining on formed walking tracks and roads. So don't go lollygagging around in there. It's bush regeneration going on, right, folks? It's a lot of like that white beach type sand now. So I think we are getting closer to the ocean also can hear the waves on our right so we probably are getting close Ugh, these bugs man they make me think i keep walking into a spider web all right check it out brown's rock now we're 300 800 from henry head we're gonna go to brown's rock first which is right here check it out check out the brown's rock sign 280 meters that way and we've got henry head so we're gonna go brown's rock first once we get to Brown's Rock, we'll show you that, and then we'll come back and do Henry's head. It's another big one there. You can hardly see her, but she's right there. Another big one, man. They're so big, the spiders around here in these bushes. Wonder how big lizards and snakes are and stuff around here too. They're probably all massive, man. Cool, brother, chill. I'm cool, you're cool. I'm cool if you're cool, man. Check it out. There's a crow right there. He's pretty close. He's right there. I'd say he's two meters from us right now. Two meters. Oh, yeah, right, brother. All right, I'm, I'm out of here then. Obviously, you don't want me here. He's not a very nice guy. He was, he was deaf staring me, lad. I am walking, walking down very, very. This whole 300 meters is just downhill, so that means that when we're coming back up after showing you guys the rocks, I have to do a 300 meter climb up the mountain. Oh, well, this is the rocks. All right, can yeah. See well. So I dropped the sinker first. Yeah. Then I put my life bait on my line. After so. So, oh, so I you, put the sinker, ah, I get the tension on my yeah, line. Right, okay. And then I rig this. Yeah. When it's rigged. And then you'll throw that down. I just oh, it slides down. Oh, and true. The, the, the thing is like when it's like this, yeah. it cannot swim back up. Oh, it can only, only goes swim one way. down. Yeah, that's sick. So that's very oh, interesting. Oh that's yeah, that's pretty cool. So then like the sinker would go down, anchor itself in the water, and then you'll just tie that to the top yeah. and off she goes. Yeah. yeah, that's sick man. Yeah. Slider rig. Slider rig. It's really good. Pretty good stuff, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Nice bonito, oh my goodness. Just Huge. pull that here from here. Yeah, yeah from the corner. Oh, right. this morning. But we were there like very early. Yeah, that's a cool setup. Savak ti malo vodu iz, ili odavde presipi vodu. That's sick, man. How long he's been out here for, more? 
Uh, we were at 4.45 oh, oh, I think we were oh, here. The sun's not even up yet. <laughs> yeah, that was a good time to do the yellow tail. Oh, right. Oh, no. That was the rocks. We had obviously some fishermen show us some of their cool things and their catches. Some of them caught bonitos. There was some other stuff, but I didn't want to bother those people. Those two French guys seemed to be the most friendly as most Europeans are. So they had the coolest little live bait set up. They were using yellow tail and then they just hooked it up on that drop shot sinker thing, whatever the hell he called it. And they were catching big ones. So off up the mountain we go. Oh, I'll see you guys after my 300 meter trek. The next big walk, 700 meters, off to the next track, the Henry track. I'm so puffed after climbing that hill. Whew, we didn't even have a rest, we just went straight into the next one. There's another one here. We can get a lot closer to this one this time. It's so big. How cool is that? At least we got a nice close-up shot this time. Unsure about the species of spider, I'll find out for you. I'll put a link in down there for you guys to go look at. There's another one there. Yeah, luck everywhere around here. It's kind of cool. They don't have to fight for food or anything. They have an abundance of food around here that none of them have to fight. And there's no competition. It's pretty cool. Check it out, there's like a, a walkway down that way. And then there's like a random bench here. Let's check it out. Just chilling on our random bench. How cool is that? Right, we've discovered an unstable structure. Unsure what was in there, but it's all fenced off. You can't get in there. Kind of looks like it was bathrooms or showers of some sort. To educate some that aren't aware how spiders operate so we have an empty web right now usually what happens is if something disturbs it that it's like it starts to get scared it's going to go off and hide now every spider has a hidey spot look how close this hidey spot is it's right there so like that's exactly where, where it will stay. So if its web gets like disturbed, it'll go straight to that leaf, it'll chill over there. And then when it thinks the coast is clear and there's no predators around, it'll go back out. Anyway, that's spider behavior. If none of you knew how spiders behave, but that's what they'll do. So do not walk past an open web like that and brush yourself against this, right? Because that's where they'll be and then you're just gonna get yourself bit anyway. So just be careful, just watch where those strands of the web go, because they always only have three to four. Just follow it, and then you will find where they hide themselves. Holy crap. Yeah, only it's got like a white back. All right, we made it to the end of the No Three Road, Henry Head, let's go. Good old Henry Head, we've almost made it, there's your sign. There's your sign, Henry Head, unstable, slippery surface, usual regulations and alcohol free area. From the 1st of the 10th till the 1st of the 5th, 23, so I guess that, that doesn't apply anymore, I don't know why they haven't removed the sign. but. I don't know what these were. Were these like holding cells? It's got that holding cell feel to it. I have to parkour up there and go around. Uh, 
check it out. I'm not sure what it was. I think these were like the watchtower stuff that was looking out for other ships and things that were coming. Check it out, there's another one here. This is probably the third one that we've seen. It's another one that sits here and then looks over the ocean. Check out that tanker ship, lad. Costco shipping! Check it out, Costco shipping, lad! That's so big. That ship is so big that it's creating its own waves. It's got its own ecosystem around it, it's so big. Man. Transport ships are huge. That's like 200, 250 plus. Crazy. Look at the tiny little boat behind it, man. That's nutty. When you're telling me that the African pirates were trying to hijack ships that big, are you kidding me? How do they think they're even getting on top of that ship? I almost got a mad boat. That's like half a yacht. That's so good. I wish I had something that big. Man, if I had a nice big boat that I could stay out in the ocean with overnight, we'd go and check out all the mad islands and stuff around here, go and do mad camping, exploring missions. Man. So if anyone that's wondering, that's the Colonel site over there where we were a couple of videos ago which was one of my beach videos that's where we were where i did the fail fishing and couldn't catch any fish anyway i need to trek back to the car because i only have four hours of parking and then we're going to move the car and go a bit more up into the national park and do the last section of the stuff that i wanted to show you and then we'll be done so i'll catch you guys when we're in the car going up the mountain ow Well, we're in the car, we're trekking our way, there's a golf course like right next to us, but we're trekking our way all the way up, as you can see. We're just cruising, cruising our way up. Well, we made it to the last bit of the trek for today, which will be our Cape Bank management trail, which will go up there. You've got the Lifesavers rescue helicopter right over there, and then across from it, it's a shooting range. Live fire right across from it. How hectic is that? They're all over there shooting. Alright, check it out. We're at the very last stretch of today's video, which will be Camp Bank Trail. Again, the Lifesavers helicopter, Westpac Lifesaver, right over there. Saves many lives, right over there. Check it out, here's your sign, your Cape Banks management trail, all flora and fauna is protected in this area, no dogs, fires, all that kind of stuff. Don't bring your dog, you'll get penalized. There is also aquatic reserve. So there's spear fishing permitted, line fishing permitted, no collecting or killing of marine invertebrates or vegetation. Right over here, you can see what's protected. And there's your sign, Cape Banks. Make sure you're wearing your life jackets, little rock, rock fisherman. Anyway, let's get ourselves a nice look at the Westpac Lifesavers helicopter. Well, we've got the selfie stick. Look how high it gets me. Way over the fence. There's your helicopter. 
saves all of the Aussie lives out there. Make sure you are donating. Whenever you get a chance, make sure that we are donating to the Westpac Lifesaver helicopter, okay? Now, we're going to go down that way very shortly, but first off, we're going to go see what that's about, because that looks like some more of the old convict stuff from back in the days, when Mr. La Perus found his way over here to Australia. They have, like, the best cool-looking lawn over here. Like, it is so well-managed, like, holy Moses. Is that food on the lawn? What is that white stuff? Are those mushrooms? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. They're all mushrooms. Are you kidding me? Cheers out. See all that white stuff? It's all white. Like there's so many mushrooms all along that that field. There's so many mushrooms there. Wow. All right. Well, we obviously can't enter the building because there's like. All the buildings around here are all locked off, I don't know, it kind of spoils the whole I'm Trying to show you guys everything, but no entry, no climbing structures, unstable edges, rocks, all that kind of thing so. Well, check it out It's all like major rusted up doors, these are like big metal Like I'm talking, these are thick metal iron doors, like I swear this used to be like a prison cell of some kind. Look at that, there was like some little room in there. There's even a shelf up there. Yeah, well, there's the stairs, so I don't know if that's classified as climbing structures, but what the hell, was this a chute? Where did that go? Hello? I've got an idea because we can stretch this out. Look how far they go down. What? I don't know what they were hiding in there. No idea what they were hiding over there, but here we are. We're on like way up a bit. Check out like the water and stuff around here. I think that's where we were about to go. Again, all the shooting you're hearing behind me, there's a live shooting range back there, they're all shooting the guns. Cowboy! <laughs> a bunch of cowboys are out there. Uh, well, I guess we just walked around. Yeah, we just walked around. <laughs> this path just goes around the structure and then you like the roof of it which is right here, so that's it. All right, we'll go to the trail now. We'll head down the trail. I'll see you guys very shortly when we're hitting up the trail. Not many people know this, but you see this? You see that? You ever get hurt, you hurt yourself, click one of those off right there, like you just grab it, snap her off. And if you have like a saw, like here, look, see? See my knee? You just rub it on your knee like that. Dab her on there. There you go. That'll help the healing. There's a little bit of a tip for you. We are like right on the side of the mountain of Australia along the coast now. Like there is probably no way down from here but I hate heights, this is kind of freaking me out already, but here we are. I'm just going to come up to here to show you guys how high this is, and there's a nutty over there. He's fishing off the rocks from here. But how are you pulling that fish up from there? Whoa, this is kind of freaking me out. <laughs> yeah, lad, this is, this is as far as I'm going, right? There's the edge over there. There's, I'm not going any further. That's all you're going to see, all right?
Okay, if any of you psychos think I'm gonna go any closer, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. Anyway, let's continue the walk. I don't know if we've reached where we were supposed to because this like sign over there had a totally different name for where we are, so I don't know if this is the trail or not, but we'll get back up onto the trail, we'll keep going, we'll see if we can find any more interesting things to show you. Actually, there wasn't anything else to show you. That was it for the trail. So that was it. That was your five locations that I showed you guys today. So we started with Conowong Beach, then we went off to Little Conowong. We checked the rocks. All right, well, that was a massive mission. About three, four hours of walking up and down in the mountains all around, just for you guys and girls to show you all what La Perus has to offer. So those are the five locations from the board at the start of the video. We went to each one of them. Let me know down in the comments what you think of each section or each beach or each location that we went to. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, feedback, all that good shit that we need in order to skyrocket out of here. That's your video, all done and dusted. All five locations, well that's 10, but all five locations, all good, all sweet, all smashed. That's it for me. I will see you all in the very next episode, Wednesday, Sunday, see you then, ow! That's it there, they're getting ready. Pilots are there, they're getting ready to jump on that ship. And for those that are like ships, there you go. Happy days, you better appreciate that. I went into the bushes for you. Baby. <laughs>